we are here at the next video on my channel Global Terminance Portrait by Ernst Kreusel. Today we talk about the next team of the Paralympic Games in the men's division. The team we talk about today is Belgium. At first I will talk about the history at the European Championship then about the World Championships, then about the Paralympic Games, and in the end I will talk about the roster of the Paralympic Games for Tokyo 2021. We start with the European Championship. We start in 2011 in Athens, in Denmark. Then Belgium won every game in the prelim round. But after the prelim round, Clisson Mapreni had problems with his knee and he wasn't able to play again. So yeah, Belgium had to play without him and they lost every game including the deciding game for the A division for staying in the A division against Germany then. In 2013 they came back to the A division and then they played again in the deciding game for being in the A division. This time they won 5 to 2 against the Ukraine. In 2015 they reached the quarterfinals where they lost 4 to 10 against Czech Republic. Then they won in the losers round against Sweden. So this time they didn't play in the deciding game, they played in the game for the fifth place against Germany, but this game they lost badly, 4 to 13. In 2017, in Paiolati in Finland, that was the first time ever Belgium won a medal at the European Championship. They won the bronze medal after winning against Sweden in the bronze medal game by 5 to 2. In 2019 in Rostock, Germany, they also reached the quarterfinal. They lost against Lithuania 3 to 10. Then they won in the losers round against Spain to play in the game of the fourth and fifth place against Finland where they lost. That was the history of Belgium team at the European Championship. Now we talk about the World Championship. The only time they played at the World Championship in Gold Bowl was in 2018 in Malmö, Sweden. They were first place after the prelim round, won the quarterfinal game against Iran 5-0 to play in the semi-final against Germany and it was a fantastic game. Belgium lead 3-0 against Germany, then Germany came back to the 3-3, but Belgium also threw the 4-3, and the halftime score was 4-3 for Belgium, and in the second half, the game-changing moment was when the score was 5-5, Michael Dennis from Germany threw a long ball. Bruno van Hover 
took the penalty shot and he threw a high ball by himself. Michael Dennis scored the penalty for the 6-5. Directly after that, Clisson Mapreni threw a long ball. Michael Dennis scored again for the 7-5. And I can tell you at both penalties, Bruno and also Clisson almost defend the penalty. So in that case, it was really unlucky for Belgium. In the end, Germany won by 10 goals to 5. And if you only count on field goals, the score would have been 5 to 5. But Belgium threw a lot of penalty shots. So yeah, they were beaten by themselves. But in the bronze medal game, they played against Lithuania and then they won 9-2 to two to win the bronze medal at the World Championship 2018. That's the reason why they compete in Tokyo 2021. Because the first three places at the World Championships directly qualify for the Paralympic Games. Now we talk about the Paralympic Games history that starts in 1976 at the first time ever Paralympic Games for the sport goal in Toronto, Canada. Then Belgium won fourth place. In 1980, in Anheim, Netherlands, they finished fifth. Then they had 28 years without competing at the Paralympic Games and also competing in major championships. They fight it back into the A division in 2006 to compete in 2008 at the Paralympic Games when they finished 11th. In 2012 in London, they competed as team of the B division in European goalball. As far as I said, they had to go into the B pool after the European Championship 2011. But nevertheless, they played at the Paralympic Games in London and they reached the quarterfinal and the quarterfinal was also a close game against Brazil. In the end, Brazil won 3-0, also with two penalty shots. So yeah, if you look on that Belgium played in the B division then, and if you look on the opponent, Brazil, and then the final score was 3-0, that was a good performance of the Belgian team. In 2016, they missed the qualification. And then we are at the Paralympic Games 2021. Now I talk about the team which will play the players of the Belgian team in 2021. Here you saw the players about Basim Ammir. Sorry if I spoke the name incorrectly. I can't tell you anything. The same is with Arne van Hover. I know he played, for example, at the last terminals, for example, Malmö Intercap 2019, Pio Lati Games 2020, Trakai Open 2021. When we come to Rob Asin, 
He was one of the starting three players at the European Championship 2017. And yeah, he made many important game and yeah, he made many important goals for Belgium at the European Championship 2017. At the World Championship 2018, he wasn't in the starting three. Then he was replaced by Tom van Haver, the next one I talk about. Tom van Haver, yeah, now the right wing player of the starting three. And if I compare him with Rob Asien, I would mean in the offense, Rob is the better player because his throw is really difficult to pretend for the opponents. But Tom is the better defense player, so I would mean it's the correct decision to took Tom to place Tom on the right ring and not Rob. Then we come to Bruno van Hover, the twin brother of Tom van Hover. They are four brothers. They are all twins. Two of them are completely sighted and two of them totally blind with Tom, that's Tom and Bruno. And about Bruno van Hover, I can tell you he plays scoreball since 2003. So he has many experience so far. And He's the center player of Belgian team. In the end, I talk about Klusan Napreni. As far as I said, he's the most important player for the Belgian team. If you look, for example, at the European Championship 2011 and also in 2017, 2018, he was the most important player, in my opinion. And yeah, I would mean if Klisman Franey miss, Belgium is without any chance to win at the Paralympic Games. So if you look for example on the Paralympic Games 2020 and the Track I Open 2021 in Lithuania. You saw that because Klisman Preni missed both tournaments and Belgium were without any chance. For example, at the Paralympic Games 2020, they even lost against Romania. Romania, a team of the C division in European goal. And in Szczecin, they lost against Poland a team of the B division of European Global. So, yeah. If you look on that, you can say that Belgium needs Klisan Napreni to reach a good place meant at the Paralympic Games, about how the games run, but yeah. I can tell you without Klisan Napreni, if you look on the past of Belgium, I don't know how they play meanwhile, but yeah, if you look on the past, you can tell without Klisan Napreni, Belgium will be maybe not without any chance, but it would be very difficult. So yeah. That's my opinion about Belgium, what they can reach at the Paralympic Games. That was my video about Belgium. I hope you enjoyed that. We meet again in the next video. Take care and goodbye.